Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching episode 10 of my mystery monthly minis. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to episode 10 of my mystery monthly minis. If you've seen one of these before and you know it works, then you can just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have over 150 samples in my sample collection and I'm just not getting around to drinking them. So my wife has poured one blindly in this blue Glencairn glass. I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. It's a great way for me to test my nosing and tasting skills and well, let's see if I can get them right. On to the whiskey. If you want to know what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description for a sneak peek. On top of this sample is a coin from Chris at The Last Drop. If you don't follow his channel, then I suggest you check him out. I'll put a link in the description and you can see his channel. Right, on to the nose. Right, so this is, this is quite different. I'm getting like, um, there's like a fizziness. There's like a burnt biscuit. There's some fruit in there, I think. Not sure if it's wine or sherry at this point, but might not even be, be that. It might be just some fruit flavors from, uh, from the whiskey itself. Mm. Maybe, maybe pear drops. Maybe even a hint of uh, pineapple. Definitely smells interesting. It's, it's yeah, so some nice flavors. Not many, but yeah, that biscuit, that burnt biscuit, uh, has definitely got like um, a malted barley or a cereal sort of note to it. Hmm. I'm not certain if there's some red fruits in there though. Hmm, the palette might well reveal more. Let's have a sip. Hmm. I'd definitely say definitely say this is more tropical than pears. That sort of burnt cereal note is there, but it's not too strong. It is like a, a malted cereal. Um, it's not too much heat. There's a little bit of pepper in there and a little bit of fizziness, just like I picked up on the nose. But I think those fruits are more from the, the whiskey process itself than the cask. You know, I don't think there's a, a wine influence at all. Let's have another sip. Actually, there could be there could be a wine influence. There's a little dryness that could be coming from the wood, or it could be coming from uh, grape tannins. But it's really difficult to tell. That fizziness is quite strong. It's I think the fizziness is present from maybe the ethanol. It's probably I don't know. Maybe it's 40, 43 to forty six percent. I don't think it's much higher than that, but I'm leaning towards an Irish. Um, this does remind me of uh, a few sort of single malt Irish whiskies, but if it isn't an Irish, I'd probably lean towards a Scotch. Let's have one more sip. Yeah, with that cereal, it's becoming a bit creamier now that sort of hint of tropical and pear drops and that fizziness definitely does remind me of a, of a single malt Irish but 
possibly a Bushmills. I don't even know if I've got Bushmills in my samples. Um, and if not, it could be an independent bottling um, from an Irish distillery. But it could be from anywhere in the world. Um, I've no idea. Um, but hopefully I've got some of those flavours right. Should we find out what I'm drinking? Right, so it's a Ben Romack Organic, 43%, and it was sent to me by Tom Jacklin, who is uh, Whiskey Shorts on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description to his channel as well. Well, I've only had one Ben Romack, um, and I remember there being a bit more, uh, a bit more punch to it, a bit more um, toffee, if I remember rightly, maybe even a, a hint of salinity. But I said. 43 to 46%, so a 40, 43%, you know, I'm not too far off, so I'm happy with that. And obviously it's a single malt scotch, um, but yeah, it's quite an interesting profile. I do like that fizziness. I like that fruit flavor that comes through uh, in the whiskey, but it's, um, yeah, something I've never tried before. So it was, uh, you know, a fairly uh, good stab in the dark, I think, but I did hint towards Irish first and foremost. So. Obviously, I'm going to lose some points for that. Well, there's still some in the glass. I'll leave it to um, open in the air a bit longer and I'll um, enjoy it off camera. Thanks, Tom. Sauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.